Welcome to video one of the WingFind training series. Here we're going to do a controller upgrade of 4x to 531. To connect to the RFS 4000, we need a terminal server that's set to 19200, 8 bits, one stop, no parity, no flow control. Let's do a show version and a show boot. You can see from a show boot, we're running the primary image and we have a secondary image of 434. The system is ready to boot on the primary image of 44. Let's look at our upgrade options. Upgrade question mark shows us all the options available. Here we'll use upgrade TFTP. This time when we do a show boot, we'll see that the 531 image is our secondary image and our boot next boot option is set to secondary. Let's reload the box. Our last step is to adopt our AP7131s to the new controller software image. This requires using the .bin extension as the .img extension is to be used for APs already running the Wing 5 software. Let's do a show wireless AP. You'll see the 650 is the only APs to join this controller. Doing a copy TFTP of the .bin extension file and put this into Flash will prepare this unit to accept the 7131s. Using the self keyword brings us into the controller sub-interface. And let's do the legacy auto update feature, put that image into flash, and tells the controller to push this image out to the APs. After a little time delay, you'll see that the AP7031s 70 have now joined the controller. As with everything, there's a little bit of a gotcha. The 7131s 70 must be running 411 or Reason. If they're not, you could run into the CPU not running at the correct speed there is a simple fix. But it must be consoled directly into the to the AP and type HIP fix CPU speed. After typing this command and hitting return, the AP will automatically join the controller. And this concludes this video. I hope this video has been useful and look forward to new Wing 5 videos coming soon.